Hello, my name is Caio. I am a power engineer at Ellipse Software. I'm going to present you to the Ellipse Power HMI, the tool for substation automation. Ellipse provides software solutions for automation and energy management. We are a global software company leader in the Brazilian power market. We have a large know-how since 1986, offices in Brazil, USA and Taiwan, partners in more than 30 countries and have more than 50,000 systems installed. Our specialization in energy system provides a dedicated and exclusive support that is aimed in applications of this sector. We have a wide network of distributors and integrators, and our solutions have a very solid basis due to the constant evolution of our product, since we've been working and improving our software continuously. Also, we provide a quality assurance service, which is a constant monitoring of projects and applications since the basis of the application through its conception and development until its execution. This ensures the best development practices in the market. Ellipse Power Software is internationally certificated by DNV Kima. This attests the compliance of our software and communication driver on meeting the requirements of the norm IEC 61850. A level A certificate means that our entire solution is of total knowledge and property of Ellipse. So every support or service is always capable and ready to solve any problems or complications that might occur. This is very rare because generally companies use third-party software components and that makes them dependent of others to solve some supports. Ellipse has segmented its solutions by specific markets. So we have substation automation, advanced distribution management systems, ADMS, and this encompasses a wide range of models with specific functionalities for distribution networks. Then we have energy management systems, EMS, which are dedicated to transmission and substation power systems. Generation management systems, electro-intensive industries, where we have Petrobras that uses in various of their systems our intelligent load shedding solution, smart metering that relates to the huge amount of data exchange daily between customers to utilities, and oscillography, where the engineering teams can analyze more deeply the disturbance in the distribution's post-operative phase. Here are some of our clients. We have provided a wide range of solutions to these customers. We've highlighted the National Taiwan University, where we developed an automation application for 120 substations distributed over their campus, and Capco, where we implemented the monitoration and control of Yang Wo and Yusan No. 4 power plants. That involved the combination of SCADA EMS systems running in Ellipse E3 and Ellipse Power Softwares. Today, Ellipse's portfolio has the following products. Power HMI as local operation interface for substation. Power Gateway for applications that require translations of protocols. Power ADMS tool for operation centers and distribution centers, as said before, has several models of intelligence that can be coupled. Power EMS, tool for operation transmission and subtransmission centers. Ellipse E3, for control and supervision of power generation centers. Power Industry, tool for control and management of large industrial plants with large number of substations and communication points and Power AMI, Advanced Metering Interface that manages a huge amount of data in real time. So, now passing to the challenge that we face today. We have a high time to configure SCADA systems that implicates high number of hours for logical configuration and commissioning, and that means great expenses. SCADA tools 
generally do not have facilities to help configure the system. Everything has to be done by the hand, with great effort and likely to have many mistakes. Secondly, we have the maintenance cost. We have a very high dependency on programmers. The projects created are complex and difficult to understand. Every programmer makes it in a different way. So, the same information or implementation can be made and may already exist in many different ways. Therefore, it's difficult to manage the information of a, an equipment or device within the projects. The increasing number of points that digitalized substations are sending to centers implies more commissioning time because the complexity of new systems there used to be around 50 points for the first substations that we automated 10 years ago. Today, we have around 5,000. There is also the increase in the setup time of map tags due to the large database. So all of that requires more engineering work and money spent because there is not a pattern to commission the systems. The conversion of protocols is another problem. We need to communicate with control centers via different protocols, and the arrival of IEC 61850 has intensified that. The need to renew every legacy system in new architectures implies many expenses and large investments. And at last, the integration with other systems generates inflexible architectures which difficult the integration of new models and systems for the automation of the network, like the Geographic Information System, GIS, or the Outage Management System, OMS. So, what we propose is the tool Ellipse Power HMI. This solution has its operation based in the electrical model of the system. This is the main component of the software. Based on the standard IEC 61970, the Common Information Model, it is possible to automatically generate operation screens and diagrams, as well as define a, in a centralized graphical interface the electrical configurations, connectivities and structures of the objects. Based on this electrical modeling, all other functionalities are integrated to form the complete solution called Ellipse Power. In that way, SCADA is an auxiliary feature capable of placing over the electrical model the real-time data monitored in the field. The gateway is the feature that allows the interoperability between centers and different equipment protocols. And the electrical models are algorithms made to work on specific points over the electrical model of the system. We have the self-healing model, the topology processor, and the powerful for examples. So, the ellipse power is the sum of all those elements around its core, the electrical model. This is why it is a software destined for analysis, control, and management of electrical systems. It's a tool specially made for engineers, not only for programmers. And here we have the benefits that our tool will provide. The reduction of maintenance and engineering costs, the reduction of commissioning costs, the insurance of high availability and security by providing consistent information, and the preservation of previous investments due to the ease of integration with any kind of protocol or legacy equipment. In order to achieve that, we start with the electric modeling of the system. It is designed using an integrated PowerCAD editor that automatically generates operation diagrams and equipment structures based on the SIM 61970 model. This represents less time commissioning in configuring the system because all that the user has to do is set the model correctly and the system does the rest. Because the database generated is the core of all other models, it is possible to define in the same interface the disposal of objects in the screen and the structure of equipments, 
So we have less maintenance time and more reliability in configurations due to the standardization achieved by the norm IEC 61970. The model can be easily turned into operation screen. This will be shown better near the end of this presentation. Next, we have the topology processor. It is an algorithm that runs on the electric model and animates automatically the single line diagrams at the operation screens, providing a standard interface for any user and dispensing the need of programmers. Here we have another screen example. In this case, the application has the power flow model. That makes it possible to see the direction of the system's currents. It is the animation of the arrows. So, the topology processor brings less cost of commissioning the systems because there is no need to implement logics and less maintenance costs. Users will always use the same interface among their projects. Now, we have the tag browser feature. This is the automation of tag importation from IEDs. It reduces greatly the setup time of tags. Usually, this is done in a manual way. The user has to type each tag path by path. It is a big source of possible errors, since only one mistyped character is enough to prevent the link between the measures. Now, the paths are copied directly from the equipment without any user interference, providing less time to configure the system, which implies lower costs of commissioning and improved reliability by the decrease of great source of errors, so everything is passed automatically by the tool. This is an example of the tool's interface. We can choose each and every tag of our interest from the equipment in any type of protocols it may communicate and link them to Ellipse Power HMI software. The Templates configuration feature allows the configuration of commands in a single centralized interface, ready and easy to use. There is also the standardization of colors in all of the projects enabling an intuitive recognition of states and conditions. By the definition of types of measures, it is possible to configure only once each value collected in the equipment, grouping the measures of similar equipment. This results in information consistency, avoiding erroneous operation. Here is the centralized interface. It is possible to configure switches and taps positions, as well as terminal states, and determine whether they are open, closed, or unavailable. With the HMI and Gateway feature, it can be obtained an unified interface for configuring both HMI and Gateway. That means the same data is shared for both features. This results in commissioning and engineering the system only one time, thus reducing the total cost of the project. As protocols, we have developed over 450 different types, with highlight to IEC 61850, the 6870-104, and the NP3 as they are the mainly used for substation automation. Ellipse software has a team of experienced professionals to develop and adjust those and many other types of protocols. This enables the integration with old legacy systems and equipment, protecting the investments of our customers through the years. DNP3, for example, has already been in use for over 20 years at LIPS. So, what we ensure is the interoperability of equipment with different communication protocols and lower spending and investment in automating substations. 
Now, we will demonstrate the software's capabilities in creating an electrical bay at a yellow 13.8 kV bus bar. So, our original system has two loads, loads 1 and 2, and we want to add a third load at the bus bar. For that, we will go to our tools menu and pick the load component as well as the breakers and the line elements. We can adjust the names and ID settings as we desire and we will create a bay for that group of components. After connecting bay 3 to the bus bar, we notice that there is no record of it in the data structure tree view in your right left. Then we erase the old single line diagram at the operation screen and import the new electric model scheme. We notice that the new element is already part of the new screen, as well as its data has been already updated in the tree view. Now we run the application and the system is ready to go. This shows the easiness and practicality of use of Ellipse Power HMI software. Ellipse software thanks you for your attention and hopes you have reached your expectations about our products. For more information, please contact our local distributor or the email power at ellipse.com.br.